When I wake up in the morning, I look like I was fighting in my sleep. My circles are so dark under here. I never experienced that <laughs> before. Hi everyone, I'm Riley, and this is In The Know Skincare Diaries. I am going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. So my first step is obviously a cleanser. You wanna wash your face, fill and clean before you go to bed. I use Butter by Dorian Renaud. It's a black owned business. Lather it up. Step one when I wash my face is washing my hands. Cause you just don't, you don't want like bacteria. I make sure my hands are washed. Step two is my night cream. I love Estee Lauder Advanced Repair Night Cream. It's really good for lines. I get smile lines and that drives me absolutely insane. You only need like four droplets. I think it's important when you use like serums, don't rub it in like lotion. You kind of just want to like pat in it. Brood. And ladies and gentlemen, do not forget your neck. Something I learned about skincare that I wish I knew when I was younger, it's not too late to start using like wrinkle creams and night creams and all of that because then it just maintains like the youthfulness of your skin. Also, another thing that I wanted to say is I keep my skin hydrated with everything. So like after every step, I just do like a couple sprays. So this is Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. They have all kinds. They have rose, they have green tea. I brought the lavender one today. Step three, my Rada Rose Hip Oil. I got this off of Amazon. My, I have pretty normal skin, but I do get dry patches here on my cheeks and I get like discoloration here and here. And Rose Hip Oil is really good with hydrating without making it feel like you have too much on your face. And it also helps with discoloration. Couple drops. I like to look shiny when I go to bed. It makes me feel like I really like to care of my skin. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, I wash my pillows a lot. This has been my routine for the last six months. I do change my routine up based on the weather. Obviously in the winter, it's colder, my skin is drier. So I tend to use uh, heavier creams at night to make sure that my skin doesn't get too dry. And in the summer, sweat a little bit more. Dealing with the sun, I try to use stuff that has more like SPF in it so my skin isn't discolored. Step four. Eye cream. When I wake up in the morning, I look like somebody punched me. I look like I was fighting in my sleep. My circles are so dark under here. I never experienced that <laughs> before. Anytime I feel like I'm starting to look my age remotely, I just I don't like it. Argan Milk Devotion by Josie Marin. So I just put a little on the back of my hand. Do not need a lot of this. If it gets in your eyes, good luck to you. You will be burning. It goes under the eye. Try not to get it in anywhere near your lash line. Making sure I get like my little crow's feet. And patting it in again, like not rubbing it. Cause like we said, rubbing it just kind of moves it around, so. Pat, pat, pat. Do not put it up here. It's too heavy for that. If I told you my mom's age, you would not believe me. Her skin is absolutely flawless. The woman just takes care of her skin. <sighs> um, it's just a final step. This is Butter Again by Dor Dorian Renaud. It's facial shea butter. Shea butter literally comes from the skin of Jesus. You cannot tell me anything different. I know that it can be really thick. Sometimes I hate putting it on because it makes my face hot. <laughs> I think I put it on the back of my hand. The shea butter is very thick. This one I do rub in a little bit more like lotion because it's thicker. Put it here. My aunt always taught me go up with the neck up. I do not go to bed with makeup on. It is a no-no. Like that is the number one thing that I picked up on set because one night and you'll have a breakout. <laughs> There's one more step, but it's not really a step like per se, but I take Vaseline and put it on my lips before I go to bed. I don't wanna go to bed with ashy lips, guys. I think the key to flawless skin is melanin. Sorry, white people, that's just the way that I feel. Moisturizing your skin. Black people think you don't need sunblock, you do. Drinking a lot of water. Sleep and being a good person. Don't be an asshole, people. All right, everyone, this was my six step nighttime skincare routine. Thank you for watching in the No Skincare Diaries. I hope to see you guys soon on, I don't know, something else, this, who knows?